Motorcyclists are crazy. Crazy like a fox. Because the truth is, motorcycling keeps us sane. Or at least from getting crazier. In this video, I'll explain how science proves it. To non-bikers, the phrase throttle therapy probably sounds like a weak excuse to go riding. And you might even believe that yourself. But whether you knew it or not, throttle therapy is really a thing. Studies actually say there are mental and physical health benefits to riding a motorcycle on a regular basis. Admittedly, some of those studies are funded by motorcycle manufacturers and, damn it Jim, I'm an engineer not a doctor, so what do I know? I've linked my sources in the description so you can judge for yourself. Motorcycling gives us a thrill of g-forces from acceleration, cornering, and stopping. These thrills give us a rush of adrenaline, which releases endorphins and dopamine. Endorphins are natural painkillers and dopamine is known as the happy hormone because it is literally what makes you feel happy. One study, funded by Harley Davidson, claims motorcycle riding decreases hormonal biomarkers of stress, whatever those are, by 25%. If you think about this the next time you're out riding, you'll feel those hormonal biomarkers falling, even if you don't know what they are either. It also turns out that riding a motorcycle stimulates the prefrontal cortex, a part of the brain that's important, apparently. Our prefrontal cortex gets a workout when we're putting all of our concentration and alertness into riding defensively. We're constantly scanning for threats and playing out scenarios like what am I going to do if that teenager doesn't finish typing that message before she sees me? Or, could those sparkles of light at the side of the road actually be a moose about to try his luck at Frogger? They say stimulating our prefrontal cortex improves cognitive memory and spatial reasoning. Or in English, it makes us more aware of our environment and improves our ability to learn new things. One study, funded by Yamaha, claims that the high level of alertness and rapid problem solving needed to ride a motorcycle improves cognitive function by as much as 50%. Although not in the study, I'm thinking riding a VMAX puts that number into the 80s. And then there's proprioception. If you're like me, you're asking, what the hell is that? Again, just a reminder, you're getting this from an engineer. But Dr. Google says proprioception is your body's ability to sense movement, action, and location. It's present in every muscle movement we have, and without proprioception, we wouldn't be able to move without thinking about our next step. Apparently, better proprioception has a direct impact on the function of the cerebellum, a part of the brain controlling movement, learning, and thinking skills. Alzheimer's and dementia patients commonly show reduced cerebellum function. It's a leap to say motorcycling prevents Alzheimer's, but if you want to use it as an excuse to go riding, it can be our little secret. In any case, improved proprioception enhances cerebellum function, giving us better control of our coordination, thoughts, and speech. Doctors recommend activities like standing on one leg or using a balance ball to improve your proprioception. However, we do it naturally when motorcycling, cycling, or horseback riding as we subconsciously adjust our bodies in response to continuous movement. But unlike those ball standards, we bikers often work on our proprioception for hours on end. Mental health experts say that practicing mindfulness, that is, dedicating all of your concentration to recognizing the things you're sensing in the moment, is proven to reduce depression and anxiety. Riding a motorcycle forces us to focus on our physical surroundings, constantly analyzing and adjusting our body position, speed, road position, etc. This keeps us in the present moment and disconnects us from distractions like the internet. When we're focused on riding safely, our minds have no room for worries about money, work, or day-to-day -day problems. According to experts, this intense focus is a meditative state. Without even trying, riding a motorcycle naturally puts us into a state of mindfulness that becomes habit. The clarity of focus we need for safe riding has us taking notice of small sensations, such as the smell of freshly cut grass as you pass a hay field, or the aroma of freshly burned grass from the car full of teenagers in front of you. These are all forms of meditation, apparently. 
Royal Jordanian put it best when he said, I put on my helmet and I just forget everything. It's, it's so weird. It's, it's, you, you forget all your stresses because it's you, the machine, and nothing else. Your life depends on it. The way I see it, inside of my helmet is my own space. And everyone needs their own space. Studies also show that motorcycling is good for your physical health, which in turn is good for your mental health. For example, riding improves our coordination and reflexes because we're controlling the clutch, throttle, steering, and two brakes all at once. With practice, these become second nature like walking, and we do them without even thinking about it. As a bonus, our coordination continues to improve as we put in saddle time, even after years of riding experience. Because of those physical aspects of riding a motorcycle, it's actually a workout that develops your core, neck, leg, and arm strength. The effort of controlling a bike is estimated to burn 400 calories an hour and increase your heart rate by an average of 11%. If so, it's as good for you as a brisk walk. So now instead of going to the gym, you can just go for a bike ride. Or if you must go to the gym, you at least have an excuse to take your bike instead of walking. All of this matters because mental health is as important as physical health. A serious mental health ailment can be as debilitating and painful as a broken leg. And to run this marathon of life, nobody needs a broken leg. Maybe for you, all the above just confirms how scientists can make something fun sound cold and clinical. The truth is, all of this stuff about proprioception, the prefrontal cortex, endorphins and mindfulness, none of it matters a damn. All that really matters is that you enjoy riding your motorcycle. The rest will look after itself. Thanks for watching.